Hi, I'm Ayman. Welcome back to one of my videos. Another video in the series of converting our patio into a three season sunroom. And today I'm going to be talking about cutting the plywood. Cutting a straight line through plywood or OSB board is always a daunting task. So today I'm going to show you what I learned from my dad and how we're going to cut a straight line through this OSB board. So first off, you have to draw the line. And drawing a straight line is actually fairly easy. All you need to do is you want to take your tape measure. You want to mark how far from the edge that you want your line to be. And you don't just want to mark it once or twice. You want to mark it at least three times, but more than three is definitely the best. Like mark one here. Uh, obviously you don't want to have the block of wood above it. You want to be as flat as possible. Mark one here. Mark one here, mark one here, and then mark as many as possible to get it as precise as you can. And then what you want to do is you want to take a, a straight edge, you want to align those points, and then take a carpenter's pencil because they're designed to uh, make the line as close as possible to the level or the straight edge, and just, just connect the dots. So drawing a straight line is pretty straightforward. But what about cutting it? Because if you don't have steady hands like me, then you're going to have a very hard time cutting the straight line, even though you've drawn a perfectly straight line. And in order to do this, we're going to use a guide. So you want to take a long piece of wood, preferably a piece of wood that's as long as the thing that you're cutting. And then you want to take some clamps. You want to align this block of wood so that when you put, when you put the cutting apparatus or the cutting tool that right here we have the cordless saw up against it it aligns with the cutting edge of the blade obviously the edge that you align it with like for example on this guide depends on which side of the wood you want to get rid of so this this cutout right here is where the blade is going to be and on this side we want to keep we want to keep this side of the wood so we're going to try to align it so that the cutting edge is on this side of the wood. Alright, so you want to do this on this side. You want to make sure it's aligned. And you want to make sure that the, the, the guide is adjusted so that it matches up. And then you want to clamp it in there. Now you want to do it on the other side too, but you want to make sure that you do this the right way. This is not the right way. Because if you look closely, you'll see that it's not oriented in the proper position because when you're cutting it, you're actually going to be cutting from this side. So what you want to do is you, you can do this one of two ways. You can try tilting the guide downwards and using that as your measure. As you can see, it's pretty aligned. Or you can lift the blade up or lift the guard up and then align it first and then see where the saw hits the board. And as you can see from here, it looks pretty aligned as well. It's what we want. So after that, you want to clamp it down on this side. And then you want to cut it. Alright. Let's do it. First, let me make sure it's flush against the side of the guide. And now, let's go. Uh, well, actually first, let me make sure that the blade is adjusted correctly because this blade is designed to be used for uh, oh, for general purpose, generally for general purpose wood, not for cutting plywood specifically. So we'll have to make sure that it's set to the right depth so that it doesn't splinter too much. So, oh, hold on. Before I do that, let me take the battery off. Just for safety precautions, and then we're going to adjust the the angle of this. We're going to do about half an inch deep. Okay. All right. No oh, problem. <laughs> and another thing we'll know is that as we're cutting down this uh, uh, sheet of plywood, what's going to happen is this side is going to tilt downwards, and we don't want that to happen. Uh, but in order to solve that problem, what we're going to do is you can either put something under it to support it like a bench or you can have someone else hold it after you're done cutting the initial parts. 
And uh, actually, I have my mom here today that maybe she can help help me out with that. So Ma, we, we're cutting this plywood board and what's gonna happen is this side of the board's gonna uh, start to fall down after I'm done cutting it. So I just need to, I just need you to hold this side so that we get an even cut when we go to the end. Okay. All right, so as always, safety first. Even though I'm already wearing glasses, I decided it might be a good idea to wear some safety glasses. So I'm not sure they'll provide much protection <laughs> with the glasses already on. So first I need to align this. Okay, I think we're going to do some pretty good cuts. You ready? Mm -hmm. So after I get halfway, you're going to hold the other side. This side, right? Yeah, and be careful because when I get to the end of it, when I cut it, it's going to drop down. Unless I hold it. the line that we want. Notice that the cut is on the outside of the line, not the inside where we want. plywood has been cut in a straight line. Now, one thing I noticed that when I, when I was cutting it, I actually, I actually wasn't up against the guide for a bit of the time, but that's all right because when you're cutting, the best place to go is the outside, not the inside, because it's better to cut, to leave, to leave more than what you need than to cut. It's better to have more than to have less because if you have less, then you're basically wasting wood. So what we can do after is we can just just uh, shorten this down a bit and we should be good to go. So you also probably noticed that when I was cutting, at the very end of it, I was able to hold the plywood board while cutting, which I held this in one hand. So it's actually pretty lightweight and pretty easy to wield. And you wouldn't have been, to, you wouldn't have been able to do the same with something big and bulky and unwieldy like the circular saw. This one would be a bit hard to hold with one hand while holding the plywood board. So. I'd say, not, not to do a shameless plug or anything, but this is actually a pretty good tool. It's pretty lightweight, pretty easy to hold with one hand. It's probably even amb ambidextrous because the safety triggers are on both sides. And it's pretty cheap. We're probably going to do a uh, tool review on this sometime later, so go check out check that out. And uh, and if, 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 even, if, even if you don't like the uh, small battery it comes with, you can get the, the big battery for the big bucks. And, and if you're familiar with DeWalt tools, you know that the, the money doesn't come from the tools, it comes from the batteries. So anyway, just to restate my point, this cordless saw is pretty cool. But anyway, that was it today. I, I went in today, I showed you how to cut a straight line through plywood using a cordless saw. So just to recap, first you want to draw the straight line by using uh, many marks, then taking a straight edge, and then just connecting those dots. Then after that, you want to take a block of wood to guide them. You want to clamp them down on both sides. Make sure that you use, you use the right guide on both sides. And then after that, just cut it down while, while making sure that you support it so that the blade doesn't fall down. I'm just going to go back once over and with this time, my mom doesn't have to be here because we're not cutting much off. 
and make sure it's straight. Oh, that was so straight, I can even see some of the pencil lines. You might not be able to see it on video, but I can still see a bit of green. I mean, a bit of gray. Oh, wow. Oh. Wait, good job, my mind. I probably shouldn't do this with uh, fingers off, but it is pretty straight. Just be careful not to get splintered. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on Iron Island, especially the videos about converting our patio to a sunroof. And I'll see you there. But for now, signing out. Peace. So with sheathing, there are many different options that you have to choose from in terms of material. Now when they first started building houses, the common sheathing was always just wood planks. But nowadays they have many materials to choose from. One of them is plywood. Now plywood uh, is pretty good. It, if you don't know, plywood is just wood but that is layered. And you can see it from the side. It comes in many different thicknesses. The most common is 716, which is about half an inch. But if you live in a higher wind area like Florida, it'll probably be like three fourths of an inch. It's also very good for floors and other uses. And while plywood is good, they also have another specific material used for sheathing is OSB, oriented strand board.